Welcome to M14. Our application is a music player that streams music from your MPD directly to your browser. So we're going to start with the login screen. To create a new user, all you need to do is act like you're logging in, but also add your email and click register, obviously, instead of login. So now it becomes obvious that this is a music player. We have the back, forward, play, stop, and pause buttons. We also have a display that will show the title, artist, and album that you're currently listening to. To actually have music to play, you need to create a new MPD connection. MPD stands for Music Player Daemon. It's a music player that works on Windows, Linux, and Mac and serves music for you to listen to. Um, it's required that you have an HTTP audio stream running from MPD, which is pretty easy to set up. So let's add a new connection. We can give it an example name, a host. A port default is 6600 for MPD. Password's not always required, depends on your setup. Uh, the stream host, which is different, which may or may not be different than your MPD host, but let's say it is, and the default port for that is usually 8,000. So we'll add a new connection and see that it shows up in our connections list. Uh, you can see that it's selected, and if this were a real connection, you'd be able to um, play and listen to the music on it. So now let's set up, or let's delete that connection because it's not really doing anything. You can use the delete button on any of the connections to remove it from the list. Now let's log in to a existing user that has some MPD connection set up. Okay, so we're gonna log into my username because I have a couple MPD connections with running MPD servers on their home desktop computers. So we should be able to listen to any music that we want. So if you go over to the profile modal and go over to the MPD connections tab, you'll see that I have a few MPD connections to choose from. Uh, they're blurred out to protect sensitive information. So let's say we want to listen to the bottom one. This is the one that's running on my own desktop. So go ahead and select that, and then we should be able to play a song. There we go. So now we can play any sort of music that we want that we have on our MPD server. The way you do this is you take all of your music that you want to put on your music library, and then you can just uh, upload it to the database file on your local MPD server. Then, when you have the stream set up, you should be able to create a playlist on your MPD server and then stream it from your web client anywhere where you have a good internet connection. And this is the important part. To use this application, you must have a good internet connection, otherwise the stream will not work as expected. So now uh, we should be able to switch between connections. So say I want to listen to something else or someone else's MPD server because I like their music. They have graciously chosen to give me their connection information. So now we should be able to switch connections and play something from this server. There we go. So now we can listen to something on another MPD server. So let's select another MPD connection. There we go. There is no limit to the amount of MPD connections you can have on here, as long as you have enough MPD servers that you feel like setting up. And then you should be able to switch between songs by clicking on Next to go to the next song in your playlist on your server, and you can click Back to go to the previous one, and then of course, Play, Pause, and Stop. We'll pause the server, stop the server, or play it. Now let's take a look at our mobile interface. We decided to utilize Twitter's Bootstrap to ensure a responsive interface with our web app. So let's log in here. And as you can see, everything looks just how you'd expect as it was on the desktop. You have your player controls here. You have your song information here. And we can still check my user information. Yep, it's all the same. All right, let's play a song. And as you can see, it still works just the same. For those of you that are taking this class, we have some suggestions for you. Firstly, concentrate on core functionality over making it look pretty. You'll be much more satisfied with yourself if you can have a final product that has a great functionality over it just looking pretty. Secondly, do something that you want to do. Your many hours spent on this product will be much easier bared if it's something that you actually enjoy doing rather than something you feel is a chore. Next, don't be afraid to ask questions 
if you're stuck, the TA is here to ask questions, and the professor is here to help. So use them. Uh, next, code jams are a great tool. Anytime you can code together is a great thing, and you should be using them. Thanks for checking out M14.